Hello, y'all on YouTube. This is Rob with Rob's Dirty Knives. I am doing another knife inventory relief program for myself. Um, need to take care of some big things coming in. And I'm going to be moving some of these here. Um, I'm having an offering of several different knives. Doesn't mean all of these are going to go. But these are definitely going to be some, some things that are going to be available for you. Okay. Um, I'm not looking to get rock bottom, anything like that. Um, I'm going to be listing here the video so you can see it uh there'll be a link in the description please check the description there's a link to my community post that will have more details please go there first um before you ask a you know ton of questions because most likely your questions answered over there but i will also be posting a lot of these on blade binge right so um once they go up to blade binge and if blade binge closes then i'll come over here and just kind of You'll see in the community tab that they're not there anymore, right? Not available. So this is this is how it works, right? You're going to reach out to me in the email address you see in the community tab, and we'll talk over there, and then that's it. But these are things that uh, I need to move out of my inventory to take care of some big purchases that are coming in, and I just need to make sure that's done. I'm not necessarily looking to move every one of these, and I don't desperately have to move every one of these. So just keep that in mind if you reach out to me. You know, you want to come up and say, hey, I'd like to buy that Koenig Arius for $300. Yeah, I'm probably not even going to reply to you, just to be straight up. All right, just so you know, I will not reply to that. But um, otherwise, yeah, just ask me any questions if you have about the knife. I'm always willing to do a close-up pictures, a little short video if you go to the community post and see how to contact me, and I can send that to you, right? Always happy to do that. Um, <clears throat> these are knives in my personal collection. These are ones that probably have been carried very little or not at all. I like these a lot, but uh, they're just not main knives. And so I'm willing to put these up, even though some of these, uh, at some point I'd love to get again at some down the road, but I, I need to take care of the big things that are coming in for the channel, right? And for my collection. So that's why we're even showing these off. All right, so let me go through them real quick. Right here, we've got the Benchmade Bug Out. This is the Aluminum Scale M390 version. Beautifully broken in, as you can see. Um, there we have the Benchmade clip right there as well. So you have that as well. Um, M390, Cerakoted. Then you have the Protec. This is the brand new one. This is the button lock um, manual with the thumb studs. All right, this is the one that was released at Blade Show. Uh, this is an S35VN blade steel. Uh, pretty good USA made knife. So this one's hardly been carried or used, so it's really fantastic shape. Uh, the next one here is one that I got that I really, really, really like, but I just don't carry it. It's my McNeese Auto. This is in Magna Cut, hollow grind. Uh, it does have a Lynch uh, clip, uh, titanium deep pocket carry clip. That's a big upgrade, just so you know. Um, those run about 100 bucks, so you add that to this. This is the aluminum scales in black. Beautiful ergonomics, so comfortable. Probably one of my favorite autos out there. Um, next to, uh, what autos do I have? I, I think I have one other auto, but it was a gift from my wife, and that's not ever being sold. Next one is the Russian-made Uldanov. This is a custom Russian knife maker. Um, this is beautiful M3. Uh, is this? No, it's Magna Cut. This one's Magna Cut. Beautiful flat grind. Look at that beautiful polished edge. Just simply gorgeous. This is the copper uh, fat carbon inlays been ridiculous and you look at the beautiful milling pattern on here wonderful clip action is absolutely phenomenal in this one this is just a really premium knife this is like if you wanted a russian that was a little more of, of a folding knife that you didn't have to deal with this is this is a great alternative really really premium knife of course this is the project x it's just up there in case somebody's interested really badly i'm not I'm, I, this is one i really don't want to put on here but you know, sometimes people may not be interested in the other ones. I know some things they are interested in. This is the Project X and S45VN blade steel. It's got the titanium extra scale. This is the Hinder horse scale, full titanium scale and everything. Uh, I did put skiffs on this thing. I have all the original cage bearings that were in there. And the Teflon washers, it's because it is the, as you can see here, the triway, right? Beautiful, beautiful action. It's got the little tool on there. Just simply a stunning little wonderful knife. Well, it's not little. Nothing little about this. This is a big boy. Beautiful, beautiful knife. I do recommend this one. It does have the Lynch Deep Pocket Carry Clip. 
right? So the extras on this is going to be the titanium scale. You know, those are an extra 250. Um, the Lynch clip scale here, it's about 100, right? And then you've got the skiffs inside. So that's that's pretty premium. The next one here is one that I, I, I enjoy a lot and I carry not a whole lot, but it is one that's in my collection. Again, I really hope I don't have to sell this one, but you know, someone's really been looking for it. I just wanted to put it out there and I'd be willing to sell it at a certain price, right? This is the Koenig Arius with the carbon fiber twill scale. It is ho uh, hollowed out on the inside. The carbon fiber is beautiful. Uh, this is the full size version. It is a flipper, has a hollow grind in here. The beautiful satin finish and then the beautiful bead whatever blast i don't know it's not bead blast it's something really quite exquisite it's like a very polished beautiful finish there beautiful action full control drop shut absolutely stunning knife here uh so yeah this one again um not desperate to move this one so just keep that in mind if you reach out to me um next one is the berg blades this is the tick love this one but Again, I got to put some things on there that I know people probably are going to be very interested in. This is the carbon fiber inlay. Um, this is their recent drop. Simply their best knife yet to date. The size is perfect. The action is gorgeous. This one has skiffs in there. It's buttery, buttery smooth. You can see that absolutely buttery smooth. It's a fidget friendly, fun, big bruising, wonderful knife. Um, let's see here. Do, do I remember what this is on here? Uh, I think it's S90V blade steel, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there it is, S90V. So S90V on this one. There you go. Next one is the Leon Ma Get Stuff Done. This is the Space Coral um, Fat Carbon Scales. It looks like tree bark, and it's really, really cool, right? Um, beautiful, beautiful clip, everything in there. Action on this thing is absolutely stunning. Just beautiful drop shed action. You can get into that fuller. It's really, really wonderful. Bolstered frame lock. Riot made, very premium Riot made knife. Um, really gorgeous knife. Uh, definitely worth maybe taking a look if you like that style, style of knife. Here's the California um, Blade Show West knife of the year in 2020. Was it 2023? Yeah, they won this. We this is the Quivic. Great little knife. This is in the aluminum uh, carbon fiber um, inlays that are on both sides. Action is stunning. This. This uh, fuller here is just really beautiful. works really great. It is a bolstered lock on this side, so you can absolutely use it left-handed. Come up here and, and, oops, and absolutely do reverse flick on there. The flipper beautifully jimped all the way around. Just a great little knife. Next one is the Brown, uh, Brian Brown Designs. This is the Trogan. This is the all blacked out hollow grind. A little dust on there. Um, it's got the fuller. This one has the fuller. This is the bronzed accented which is just gorgeous and if you can see that the beautiful milling on there is just stunning it does have skiffs in there so the action on this is just beautiful drop shut very controlled drop shut you see that right, come on there we go well maybe right now you know you keep it in your pocket and you warm it up it'll be a very controlled drop shut but right now it's a very light shake shut and it closes but it's not a guillotine which is really nice this is beautiful action on this one this next one has a whole bunch of stuff this is the qsp navs knife that's the, ex the exclusive from urban edc their their exclusive one this is the m390 version uh it has skiffs on there by the way uh skiffs fit in this it has the civivi mill titanium clip on there that matches these are the uh, mars valley uh, fat carbon scales that came um from another lander and I put these on here and I thought it looked really nice but I'm gonna go ahead and include the two sets of scales that originally came with it which is the flat G10 one and I mean the contour G10 and then you have these flat with the Sagai pattern on there and of course you have all the extra hardware over here that comes with it the action on this is just simply stunning just beautiful I mean if you've like the small knife, the lander, and it actually fits in my big old meaty large hands with big meaty fingers. I mean, it's right at the limit, but man, it is great like a fifth pocket knife if you're looking for that. And just really premium. Again, M390 blade steel on that one. All right, here's another one I just don't want to put up here, but I'm going to just in case. And again, I'm not looking to sell this at rock bottom, so just keep that in mind. This is the Evo Typhoon, the full size version. This is the uh, Brian Nadeau Sharp Eye Design. This is the uh, marbled carbon fiber with a beautiful clip in there. It does have skiffs. The action on this thing is ridiculous, okay? And uh, I'll see here. Uh, yeah, well, I was at sometimes able to do a little reverse flick on this. It's next to impossible, but sometimes you can get it in there. 
you can get your fingers in there but it is cool it's got that little nub detent the action is beautiful this flip you hear that double click it's just gorgeous this is the um, clip point um not clip point this is drop point it's got the swedge on top flat grind gorgeous uh i believe this is m390 if i'm not mistaken i believe it's m390 let's see it say on there uh do, 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 do. evo typhoon sharp eye design I think it's M390, or was these S90V? I can't remember. I think it's kind of important. Let's see. Uh, it doesn't say on here. Well, uh, if I'll find that information, and I'll make sure I'll post it on there. I thought it said it on the knife. Did it not? Let's see. It's on there somewhere. Sometimes he hides it in there, right? Now, it's very minimal billboarding on this one, so I'll look it up. But it is the one, the most recent drop, that sold out really well. This like the, the most popular one, right? Next one's the Vero Engineering. This is the Mini Axon. Full DLC on the blade and the scales and the clip. Gorgeous little knife. Action's beautiful. I did put skiffs in there. Wonderfully tuned. Has that nice little, very almost um, control drop shut, but just gently shake shut and it closes very beautifully, right? Just a great little size. It's that size for large hands with big meaty fingers, extra large hands with normal size fingers. You can actually get a full grip. I mean, you're right at the max, but it's like a great fifth pocket knife if you're looking for something like that. The next one's the RWB. This is the Luft Concepts. I have two of them. This is their latest design that they came out with as far as folding knives. This is the RWB. This is the full DLC. Uh, I got this at Blade Show directly from them. Got a little dust on there. Um, full DLC, which is phenomenal. The action on this thing is just simply gorgeous. Um, you can, like, you can middle finger reverse flick it. When you drop it, you catch it right there. Right, it's really wonderful. You can choke up on this. Just a gorgeous knife. Comfortable as all get out. The clip is just perfectly placed. You got the inside lock bar. There's no hot spots. Just a fun, fidgety, fantastic knife. Definitely recommend this one right here. Uh, also, the first one, this is the Avant. So you had the RWB, and here's the Avant. That's their first one. It's M390 on this one, I believe. Uh, was this one S? Uh, this could be nothing on this one because it's all blacked out. I'm not sure if this was M390 or S90V. I can't remember. Okay. But this is the Avant. This has the Timascus collars and the Timascus backspacer and our Rips Garage technology. Mill titanium clip installed. The wire clip is included. So if you want to put it back, have a whole extra set of hardware. If you wanted to replace that out, you could as well. Uh, it skips on this one and the action is just really wonderful on this right here. Just gorgeous. Nice crown spine on there. Beautiful hand. Um, hand satin finish on this one simply stunning i just never carried this one much at all and i didn't carry that one much at all either. i was really bummed here's another one that i like a lot and it's my favorite devo knives ever out i've come out with this is the tall boy i know it's super popular i know it's sold out like crazy so i thought i'd put it out there just in case somebody was really looking for it i did do the full hardware upgrade i had the black backspacer and the clip and the collars they're in, in their already and i put skiffs on here of course you know kevin will always do that i do it as well and i did replace the black um thumb stud so you can you get all that black back together but i really thought this carbon fiber with the titanium this this looks so sharp so yeah so you, there's the extra hardware kit there's skiffs in there and then there's the tall boy so really really nice little set here haven't carried this a whole bunch man i, I really like it it's a really great knife next one is the fractus and I know these sold out like crazy. KC, ooh, got a little dust on there. KC just sold these out really quick. He wasn't able to do a large run. This one is just beautifully tuned. Um, this is gorgeous. It's got the Arctic Storm um, fat carbon, as you can see. You see all the beautiful milling. Really, really done well. Um, um, it's got the nice satin finish on there. It's tuned really, really well. Action is very control drop shut with the with the skiffs in there love love that super cool super comfortable this is this is very premium very tuned any little edges that you had like for instance it was really sharp there when i put the skiffs in i just gently rounded that just ever so gently so when you open it this is not sharp that's really nice so there's no sharp spots there anywhere here like that which you really it's very nice right um it had a kind of a pokey tip so that is nice and comfortable there as well and the action is just tuned to be super, super comfortable. And then the action, the, the cutaway here is really nice and not sharp. 
so it's really easy to get to and comfortable. You can fidget with this all day long. So if you're interested, let me know. All right, so any of these, I'm willing to send you some pictures, video, whatever you'd like. Go check out that community post. That's where the information is going to be, okay? Don't leave messages here if you haven't checked out the community post, because if the answer is over there, I'm just going to say, look in the description, check the community post, right? Um, so, yeah, hey, appreciate you looking. Uh, like I said, if I move enough of these, I'll just drop the whole thing, take it down, and it'll be done, right? And I'll take everything off of Blade Binge. But I just want you to know, I want you guys to at least have first look at it before it goes to Blade Binge. You can see what's going to be available over there. Or, you know, if you look at the community post, if you reach out to me and want to talk to me, I'm willing to talk to you. But um, so there you go. Appreciate you guys looking. And uh, some of these are really hard to put on here, and some of them... Uh, not as hard, but still hard. These, I'm mean, getting down to things that I really enjoy in my collection, and I enjoy all of these knives. These are all great knives. I highly, highly recommend every one of these knives. I wouldn't have these if I, that wasn't the case, just so you know. All right. Oh, yeah. One other thing I was going to mention, if anybody's looking possibly for a tool like this, right? Um, I have one with the Apple Pencil. Uh, this is an older one because I replaced one recently. It does have the smart cover. It does have a little case in the back, um, which has kept it really well protected and very immaculate. Of course, my fingers are on there, but this particular one is, oh, I gotta use the right finger. because I only set up one finger. I'll reset it obviously before I send it to you. Let me just make sure I don't have any personal information here. Uh, yeah, this is the iPad Air third generation, just so you know. If you're interested, let me know. This would be a really good deal. As well if you've been looking for something and don't want to have to pay some of the jacked up prices all right hey thanks for looking appreciate you checking in on here and uh, hopefully i'll hear from an email or if not see you over at blade binge blade binge you guys have a great day bye